Hey guys, Kevin here. What I like to do in this video is talk about static electricity. I think it's something that a lot of people aren't really aware of, or if they are aware of it, they're maybe a little bit complacent about it. Now, this is something that I learned many, many years ago when I was at university, and I'm not an expert on it, that's something I need to stress, but I think it is something that is very important. You know, I'm sure you're all aware of static electricity, you know, you learned as a child, you know, when you're rubbing a balloon, rubbing your feet against the carpet, that kind of thing, but with the electronics, Static electricity can cause a lot of problems. You know, with building a PC, for example, you could fry your motherboard if there's a lot of static electricity and you're not earth to the ground. And, you know, you could fry your graphics card, your CPU, you could destroy your RAM. And these components are very, very expensive, you know, so you don't want to take that risk with something that's that expensive. So if you're working with electronics, if you're building a PC, changing a hard drive in your laptop, you know, changing a hard drive on a PlayStation like I'm about to do over the next few days for you guys um, you know, work on a smartphone, anything to do with electronics I think it really is in your best interest to use anti-static products to stop any problems from occurring now if you search online on YouTube you'll see a lot of people debating whether anti-static products are really necessary there's a big debate about it and one of the most common things I see is when there's Someone will say that it's really important, someone else will say that it's not important and when you're on the other side of the fence, people that say it's not important, there's quite a few people that have said I've worked in computers for say 10 years or 15 years or 20 years and they'll say that it's not vital, they say I've never wore one, I've never wore an anti-static wristband and I've been fine, I've never had any problems but from what other people are saying and you know from the other, what other people are seeing in videos, a lot of people might not realise but when, not, when they haven't been using those anti-static products, they've probably damaged products and they've not realised it. One of the examples that someone gave, gave was uh, memory. Like apparently RAM is very volatile when it comes to static electricity. And, you know, there's a lot of problems that, you know, you could put the RAM back in your computer, it'll load up okay, and it might look like it's fine, but there'll, there'll be problems with frequencies and other things. Other problems with your computer that you might not even have thought of, but they're actually being caused by the the memory of the RAM being you know destroyed or being partly damaged through static electricity now again I'm not going to say that I am an expert on this situation I'm probably, I'm probably not even using a lot of the correct terminology what I do recommend is looking at this video now if you look over here you should probably see it this is a video by Martin Lorne and it's called does an anti-static mat work now this is a really good video and I'm going to put a link in the description area because he explains it really well when he does lots of tests to show the benefit. You can probably see it there, so he's getting a spark. Um, and he's going to show the benefit of using an anti-static mat. Now this is an anti-static mat and it's conductive in the bottom but not in the top. You'll see these four little clasps in the corner. Now they come in lots of different sizes. This one is apparently grey, but they've clearly sent a green blue. I don't know what colour that is. I got mine from a company called Elcom, so I've contacted them to try and send the correct colour, but um, I, got them, I got it through Amazon. They do a lot of different products, and you can see some of them here. That's the wristband. That's a plug that you would get. That's another wristband. That's, it was my friend Michael that brought these over for me. Now, this is the hard drive that I'm going to be putting into my PS4, and you can see right away what do you see here? It's in an, an anti-static bag. Now whenever you buy anything computing related, be it a motherboard, a graphics card, a CPU, anything like that, they always put uh, the products in an anti-static bag. It's because they, they know how much damage can be caused with static electricity, so they don't take any risks with this kind of thing. Now, the most common product you can get is this. This is the anti-static wristband. Now, the idea is, if the simplest thing to do is to just, you put it in the wrist that you're not using, uh, the hand that you're not using, so I'm right handed so I put it on my left wrist and then you would attach it to the device that you're working on. Now for example, I could for example attach it here, you know if I was working on a PC I could attach it to the casing. There's lots of other things you can do as well though, you know a lot of people say that you know it's just sufficient to simply touch the casing when you're working on it or to touch the casing of your PC or to touch a radiator but I think there's always that risk that you're going to forget doing it so this this is where something like this comes on now 
This is very, very cheap. And I got this one as a pack through another, um, through a screwdriver kit, a, screw, a screwdriver precision kit. But you can pick this one up very cheaply. You can get them from China. I just bought this myself from Amazon for £1.29, so like $1.50. And it's coming in a month right enough. It's slow delivery, but you know, it shows you the cost. It's very, very cheap. These ones are a little bit more expensive. In the UK, they're about £10, so about, you know, probably about $13 in North America. And the idea with these ones is, again, I'm not an expert on this. Um, just turn you around. Now, I'm not an expert on why these ones uh, is more efficient. Now, depending on your environment, will really, you know, influence how much you take this, how seriously you take this. I think, at the very, very least, I think at the very, very least, I think if you're working in anything to do with computers, I think you need this. I think you need the anti-static wristband. But that apparently just bonds you to the device that you're working on. But the idea with this is a little bit different. What you do is you put the anti-static wristband on, you use the crocodile clip and you attach it to the mat, right? So I'll turn you around again. So and you can see the clip has actually come off here. You can do this one-handed. So you've got this here. So the idea is that would go on my wrist. This would clip onto the mat, then by another cable, just the same like this, and if you can see here, imagine I've got two of these cables, but you can, as I said, it's not arrived yet. <laughs> um, this would be plugged into the earth, into the, the wall, and you clip that on. The other side would either clasp onto here, or it would clip on. So you could either use a crocodile clip, like that. Or if you have a clasp, you can just clasp it on. So if it's if you get a clasp, you get different kinds of these cables. If if there's a clasp on each side, then what you can do is you know you could put it like this. So essentially, what you would do is you would have a connection for yourself to the mat, which isn't conductive, and then you'd have a connection from the the mat to the main, and that would be earth. You don't even have to turn the the, the, the plug on, you know, the adapter on at the wall. So, that is apparently a more efficient way. There's lots of tests explaining why that is. I believe it discharges it more efficiently and, you know, there's a one mega ohm resistance in here that helps it. I think it discharges it slowly, I think. Again, I'm not an expert on this. I've been, I've been doing a lot of research on this, but I think when it comes to me talking about it and qualified electricians and people in the industry, I think, you know, I'm, I'm dumbing down a lot of this. Um, for my own simple brain and hopefully you know you guys will understand my simpler explanation of it but at the very least I think you need the anti-static wristband but if you don't have that um, if you do have that sorry you might want to think about getting this you know but there are other solutions as I said little simple things as well you can get like a rubber mat that you stand on another thing you can do is just take your socks off and if you've got a carpet just walk in bare feet it won't eliminate it but it will greatly reduce it and you know there's other things like that that you can do this is something that i think you still take seriously so you know if you're going to be doing any repairs anything to do with your pc upgrading that hard drive try and see if there's a problem with it you know with the, the power anything to do with anything with your computer with your laptop if you're opening it up please do use an anti-static um, wristband one thing is to note is you know if you are doing upgrades to your laptop some computer companies are quite funny, and even if you do wear an anti-static um, wristband, they might say that you shouldn't be opening up. I'll give you an example. My, my laptop from HP, who, terrible service by the way, as far as getting it fixed, but they told me, the guy told me to open it up, so I opened it up and all that, and you know he told me to do some tests, take out the RAM, take out the battery and all that kind of thing. But I did all that, and that was from an Indian call centre, but a few days later I spoke to the guy from England, and the first thing you know, he kind of asked is, "Well, make sure you don't win the laptop because that voids your warranty." Now, I just, I was just on it. I was like, "Listen, well, that's not what your other guy said, you know." And I've got a recorded telephone call that, you know, the warranty isn't voided because he told me to do it, and he went right, okay. So just be aware of that, you know. I mean, if you're doing upgrades to your laptop, you mean there is perhaps a good argument for not telling them that you have actually tinkered around in there. But please do um, be conscious of this. These things are really cheap. Get them for a dollar or so. If you're not in any hurry for them, order one today from China. You'll get it for about a dollar. And 
very easy to use. You simply clip it to the thing that you're working on or you can buy an anti-static mat. Now I, I think I'm going to be doing lots of repairs and I'll be doing my boxings and that here as well. So that is why I thought I might as well just invest in it just now. And you know, there's, I don't want to take any risk with these things. So if, you, if you're more knowledgeable about me about this, please do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. I'm sure there are many of you out there who think, you know, that's not necessary. But I've read a lot of things over this, over the, about this subject over the last few days. I've watched a lot of videos. And there's lots of people like this Martin Long who's, who basically stress how important it is. And there's lots of other knowledgeable guys like that. And they keep saying you need to use these anti-static uh, products. So if you are doing any repairs, please search online for something like this, like a wristband. Search for either anti-static, so anti-static mat, anti-static wristband, or search for ESD mat, ESD wristband. And ESD just simply stands for electrostatic discharge, or I think, double check that. Um, I believe that is the correct. Um, so you'll see a lot of different products for it. I would say start off, with, yeah, I've got it right in one. Can you see that? Zoom in. Electrostatic discharge. Yeah, maybe not as dumb as I thought. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful, and please do, you know, take this seriously. I think if you're working on your computer, don't take the risk. For the sake of a dollar or two, don't risk several hundred dollars worth of equipment being burned up or fried and not working anymore. And a lot of places won't take it back if they believe that's what you've done. So please be careful. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you find us here. So until next time, take care.